The focus of this presentation is to let you understand the theorem, the line drawn from the center of the circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. This is the abbreviation. We write it in the if-then form. If a line is drawn from the center of the circle to the midpoint of the chord, then it is perpendicular to the code. In the diagram, here is the line, or M, M is the midpoint, right? Drawn to code AB. Then we are saying it meets AB at 90 degrees. Given and required to prove, constitute the hypothesis and the conclusion, respective. So, we create this situation where we have labeled this angle one and two, so that what we want to prove is O M is perpendicular to A B. But to do that, if we could show that either angle one is equal to 90 degrees or angle two is equal to 90 degrees, then it's all fine. The thinking pattern is to start with an end in mind. Think in terms of the end. This is the end. Angle one is equals to 90. So how are we supposed to get there? That's our end. So to prove that angle one is equals to 90, one has to think of the formation of an equation containing angle one, because this is an equation. Hence, we have to formulate an equation to end up with an equation. Secondly, think in terms of the start, the given, stated facts that come with the problem to solve. What theorems or properties can you deduce from the given? This is what is given, simply OM meeting um, AB, where AM is equals to MB. That is given. So from the line AMB, we deduce the adjacent angles of a straight line postulate, right? That is, this is a straight line. We can add the adjacent angle and you know they will be equal to 180. But we first justify that angle one is equals to angle two. So create the problem. Join OA and OB and show that Triangle O A M is congruent to triangle O B M. Right? Why showing congruence is because at the end we can conclude that angle one is equals to angle two, since they are corresponding angles in the triangles. So when you show the congruence, you either use any one of these criteria depending on what is given. Then justify angle one is equal to angle two using corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Let us do the demonstration. Write OB is equal to uh, OA because they are both ready. We realize that OM is equal to OM common side or reflective property. Then AM is equal to MB right that is given information so at the end we have all three sides equal right so we conclude that triangle o a m is congruent to triangle o b m by side 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 criteria thus angle uh, one is equal to angle two corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent right now we can then go to use the adjacent angles on a straight line A, M, B. Then it's angle one plus angle two is equals to 180 adjacent on a straight line, right? But we have already seen that these two angles are the same. So where there is angle two, I can put angle one. This is what I did here. And then from there, we, these are two equal things, you add them together, right, to get two angle one, which is equals 180, and that is algebra. Then you divide both sides by two, which is algebra, and we have arrived at the end. So the proof is complete.
right key takeaways from this presentation to prove the theorem created the problem as shown in the diagram. This is what will be given. Then you create the blue lines are your own construction and you give the names to the angles formed in the triangles so that you can use the criteria for congruence of triangles to show that angle one is equal to angle two, right? Use the adjacent angles on a straight line postulate to form an equation containing angle one and angle two to then arrive at angle one is equal to 90 degrees. I hope you understood. Thank you very much.